Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be all about goal setting and the habits that I'm going to be tracking in the new year. So if you would like to see that, keep watching. Okay, I always get really, really excited for the new year because it feels like a fresh start. So I have several things I want to accomplish in this video, so hopefully it won't be too long. First off, I just want to mention that I had a goal setting class with um, Michaels this weekend. And if you didn't attend the class, these are my three main goals for the year. So yes, I'm putting it out there that I'm creating a sticker book to sell. I want to renovate the upstairs and I want to have better work-life balance. This is a goal that's kind of hard to measure, but I kind of wanted to include it in here because it's really important to me. So this is my main goal sheet. And if you didn't see this, if you didn't attend this class, it will be up for replay on the Michaels website. And I will link it in the description box so you can go watch this class if you missed it. But it goes over this, it goes over um, how I'm tracking these, which I'll show you briefly. Um, I'm using the monthly sheets, the new monthly sheets from the Happy Planner, and I'm tracking the days that I'm gonna be working on the goal. And then on the back of that, I'm gonna be putting something like this for each goal that I'm tracking. Um, the goal, why am I, why is this goal part of my life? The plan action steps for that month and the date completed. And then at the end of the month, how did it go? And then what am I gonna do next month to work towards the goal and also to improve upon anything that went wrong in the month? So again, if you didn't watch that class, I will link that. I'm not gonna go into detail about this right now because it's all in the class. But okay, so those are my main goals. I try not to overwhelm myself with too many goals because then I fail. So I just wanna do three big goals. And then, but for this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. So I don't know if you guys have been with me for a while, but if you have, you might remember this from last year. Now this was a self-care challenge that I made for 2020 where every month I was tackling a habit or goal for that month and it was all kind of related to self-care. Now in the beginning of the month it went pretty well. I mean in the beginning of the year it went pretty well. Um, as the year went on it kind of went and took a dive because as you know 2020 was a little rough for all of us me included. So, you know, COVID hit and I kind of just didn't do as much as I wanted to do with this. So, but this is the type of thing I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be setting one goal each month, but this time it's not really going to be a goal. It's going to be, well, it, this is kind of habits too, but it's going to be a habit for each month and they're going to be cumulative. So, any habit that I set in January, hopefully it will be ingrained by the end of the month and then I can continue that in February and start one new thing in February and then continue that throughout the year. So just because I did it in January doesn't mean I'm going to be dropping it or hopefully, right? So I set a few different ones this year and I'm also going to be doing a little vision board for you. But we'll start out by doing the goal page. So this is the Boss Babe sticker book. I guess it's the most recent one. And in it, we have some yearly, not yearly, some monthly habit trackers that look like this. And so I'm going to be taking each goal that I'm going to be talking about and putting them on one of these so that I can come on and check off the days that I was good with the habit. But first we're gonna label the top of the page. So I have these really cute letter stickers from the Happy Planner. I think they're adorable. So I'm just gonna spell out goals and then I'll probably put, I'll probably write out 2021. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I have that done up there, that's just kind of fun the way I did it. I don't love that that O is kind of low, but I'm just gonna leave it. So now I'm gonna take one of these monthly trackers for each month of the year. So I'm gonna need, let's see, so if I do four rows of three, I guess that makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and I'll just put some of these down and I'm just gonna line them up here with the, um, wait, four rows of three, no, three rows of four is what I meant. So I'm gonna line it up here with this graph paper and I'm just using, this is just filler paper from the Happy Planner, um, just plain filler paper, but I'm gonna put that down there and I'm gonna try to evenly space them and like I said, do three rows. Um, actually, I'm gonna move this down a little because I'm gonna be putting the month at the top so just put it like right, is that like, let me just look at this and see the spacing here. I think that makes sense. So let's just start. Okay, I don't love how there's more space over here than there is over here. That kind of bugs me, but I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. I could have measured it out before I started. I probably should have done that, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, and now I'm gonna just take some monthly stickers from the Dates and Holidays 2 sticker book. And um, I'm just going to put them at the top, like these small monthly ones, so that we have a goal or a habit to work on each month. And I'll just um, do that first and then we'll go over the habits that I'm gonna be tracking. Okay, so we have a goal for each month and I'm just gonna take my Tombow dual brush pen. Maybe I should take a, let me take a skinnier one, I guess. Um, and just write in the goals for each month that I want to start tracking. Um, let me just find a good size pen here. I think I need a Tombow or a Tool 0.7. All right, hold on a minute. Okay, so the first habit I want to start tracking in January has to do with sleep. Actually, a couple of mine have to do with sleep. So this one is gonna be, I'm gonna call it wake up. I wanna be sure I'm up and I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at being a morning person, but I wanna be sure that I'm up and out of bed by seven every day so that I can spend about an hour doing, um, like eating my breakfast and just surfing social media or, you know, watching TikToks or whatever I want to do. I'll give myself an hour and then start work at eight every day. I think that's really going to help out if I keep to that schedule. Some days, and right now, you know, sometimes I do that. Other days I wake up at six and then other days I wake up at 8.30 and I'll start work until 10. So it just really depends. So I'm trying to be really consistent with that. So that is January. And then February, and, and it should go hand in hand with January, but February is going to be going to bed by 11 because there's so many nights where I'm up at like one o'clock and it's not gonna work out and when I start this, you know, seven o'clock wake up time, it might naturally happen that I'm in bed earlier, but I want to make sure that I'm asleep by 11 if I can. So that's going to be February. Okay. So March, I think what I want to work on is making sure, like I have a habit of leaving dishes in the sink when I shouldn't be, um, and then not emptying the dishwasher fast enough so that like I I have like dirty dishes in the sink because there's no place to put them. And so I want, I'm just gonna write kitchen here for March because I really wanna be sure that my kitchen is clean at all times because it just puts me in a better mood. It sets 
like the whole mood for the house really. So I just want to be sure that my sink is clean constantly. And the counters are usually clean. It's just I have dishes in the sink and I don't want to do that anymore. So that is March. April, let's see. Um, April, let's work on water, which I, you know, have every year and practically every month. And I still am not good at it. But if I have this here to check off, maybe, 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 maybe I will do better at drinking my water. We will see. I hope so, because it does affect your health and I'm just not great at doing it. I drink a lot of caffeine and drink a lot of alcohol, this and that. So I got to, you know, not a lot of alcohol, but you know what I mean? I just got to get away from like, I got to drink more water. May, speaking of alcohol, I, I'm going to write less wine because, um, more nights than not, I'm having at least a glass of wine, you know, sometimes more than that. And, you know, it's my re relaxing bit at the end of the day, but I'm doing it too much. And I, I think I used COVID as an excuse for that. Not that I think it's becoming a problem. I really, really don't. But I think for my overall health, I don't think it's great to be, you know, having wine, you know, a bunch of nights in the week. I think it's better if I, you know, just keep it to weekends or maybe once during the week or something. I'm just going to really try to cut back. So that is May. Um... And if I can get any of these done ahead of time, I'm going to. Don't think I'm just going to like, let me drink all the wine I want until May. That's not kind of how it works. But these are like, I'm going to kind of, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm doing a vision board. So it's, I'm going to kind of focus on all of it at once. But I'm really going to like narrow down on the specific months, if that makes sense. Okay. June. I'm writing get outside because when I went to the doctor recently and got my vitamin D checked, it is low. I am taking supplements, but I need sunshine. And also for my mental health, I need to be outside at least once a day. I do walk the dog not every day like I should because some days I'm just super busy. But, um, and Bumble actually really doesn't like walks that much, but you know, I do need to get outside at least once a day for just 15 minutes. So, you know, if it's a day that I haven't walked the dog yet, I need to get outside and walk the dog. It's good exercise. It's good to get sunlight and it's good for the dog too. So I just want to make sure I remind myself, especially on a sunny day, get some sun, get some vitamin D, even if it's just sitting out on my patio and enjoying the fresh air. I think I really need to do that. It's good for your mental health. Okay. July, I think for July, let's focus on my craft room because I'm hoping by June that it will be, that my bedroom will be moved upstairs so that by July, hopefully I will have this room revamped and pretty much organized. And then I can, this is a tracker to be sure that every day after filming, after planning, I can pick everything up and put it away because by then everything will have a place. I will have more room. So that is July. Okay. Let's see. August. August, let's focus on, um, how am I going to write this in a small way? I want to stop snacking after dinner so that you know, the last time I eat is like seven because I find myself around 10 o'clock, like grabbing, you know, chips or pretzels or something. And I don't need to, I'm not hungry. It's just like, I want to eat. So, um, I'm just going to write snacking and I will know what that means. Or I'll write snacks. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me see. I have my list over here, my pictures that I'll, I'll talk about in a minute, but where are, I, I think I'm missing some. Okay. So September, I'm writing budget because in September and hopefully before then, I'm going to really try to focus in on my finances and getting everything in order. I'm really going to try that in January as well, but if I know me, it'll fall by the wayside and then, you know, come September, I'll be like, what's going on? I really want to get rid of some subscriptions that I'm not really using. I want to, um, like, 
narrow down on exactly what I'm paying each month for things because I think there's a lot that I can cut out. And I probably should have put that in the beginning of the year, but some of these things felt more important than that. And I, and I know that's crazy because budgeting is so important. But for me, like if I'm not getting enough sleep and being on like a regular schedule, if my house isn't clean and if I'm not drinking water, stuff like that, then it's not going to help me when I go to worry about budgeting. So again, I actually have a budget section that I'm going to be using in my social media planner and my work planner for this year that I'm setting up in January. So some of that will be taken care of, but this will probably just be like a reminder to get my butt in gear and actually, you know, really focus on this and maybe um, spend a little bit each day, like working on figuring out like long-term goals as far as budgeting and things like that, Um, you know, moving around investments, all that kind of stuff. So that is September. In October, let's see, I'm looking at my pictures over here. I have like pictures and I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so here's one I didn't do yet. So October, let's focus on reading. And what I mean by that is I want to make a habit of either reading or listening to motivational podcasts every day, something uplifting, something motivational, something that's going to help me, um, you know, like self-help type stuff. And I think that that, you know, reading about mindfulness, stuff like that. And I want to be doing that a little bit every day, even if it's just 10 minutes listening to a podcast or reading about something that's going to improve my life and motivate me. So that is October. And why can't I find, I have one more, but I feel like I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I am missing one. All right, I'll find that in a second. Okay, November, I'm going to write friends because I really want to reconnect with some friends that I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm hoping that by the end of the year, we can get out and see people. And, you know, COVID will be a thing of the past, at least I hope so. So that's going to be my reminder to be a little more social because as an introvert, I can kind of get in my shell. And even though I have this big community with the planner community and I'm interacting on a daily basis, I know that for my mental health, I need to make steps to actually get out and see people in real life. And sometimes that means forcing myself to do it because again, I'm an introvert. I'd rather sit at home, but I know that like once I'm out and about and I get back, I'm going to be glad that I went. So that's kind of my goal is to, you know, become a little more social, have more people in my life and and reconnect with old friends. So I wanted to put that in there. And then last but not least is social media. And what I'm going to be tracking here is basically um, I'm going to be designating certain hours of the day that I can be on social media. I already started that today. I started putting my phone in the other room while I'm working because I get very distracted. And as an influencer, that's really hard since you're you know, your business is on your phone. So I'm trying to make steps to have more of a work-life balance and um, social media is part of it. So I guess tracking here on the days that I, you know, am good at sticking to that schedule. And also it'll be a good reminder by the time December comes, hey, you know, am I focusing on my that social media addiction that I have or am I still back the way I was last year so this will be a good reminder for me all right so that's that I have this little space here and I feel like I want to fill it up with something because you know me I really really don't like a lot of open spaces (laughs) so let's just look in this um, boss babe sticker book maybe there's something in here that I can use I don't know or Maybe I can just grab a goal sticker book. Let me just do that. So here's happy goals. Maybe there's something here. How 
how about persistence, not perfection? Because it's going to be a reminder to me that, yes, I need to be persistent in pursuing these habits. But at the same time, I don't want to, like, don't, because I have a, a I have a tendency, I'm kind of like all or nothing. And I have a tendency, like, if things aren't going the way I want them to go, that I just give up. And I don't want to do that for this. I want to be sure that I complete things. So, yeah. And over here, I'm just going to take this plan a happy life guy and put it right here. Okay, so that's my goal sheet. I'm going to put this in my catch-all planner. This is the big size. And now what I'm going to show you is the vision board that goes along with it. So here I have a happy planner um, page protector sheet. I think they call, used to call these pocket pages. I'm not sure. But... Um, this came in a pack of like a bunch of different sizes. I kind of liked this one because some of the pictures are big, some are small. So what I did was take a bunch of stickers off the internet, um, not stickers, <laughs> pictures off the internet and printed them out. Most of these I got on a site called Unsplash, which is just like free photos for you to take and you can use them for whatever you want. So I decided to do that. So some of these I sized for the different things. So I'm just going to insert them. And I'm not putting these in any real particular order because like, like I said, I'm really going to try to focus on all these things throughout the year. But the thing is, I didn't want to do it all at once. I didn't want to say in 2021, I'm going to do all of these things because I know that I won't if, if, if it's like that. So even though like I'm going to try to focus on all of them in the beginning, I, I don't want to force myself to, you know, make sure that I complete everything all at once. So that's why I'm not putting these in order um, because I want to look at them all. But also that's why I, what am I trying to say? That's why I broke it out into months so that I can like focus on, um, kind of one month at a time, if that makes sense. This is actually a picture of my craft room <laughs> back when it was more organized than it is today because I've gotten so many more things and it's just not, it's not working for me anymore. I don't have enough space in here, but my son is currently living with me. I was going to turn the upstairs bedroom into my bedroom and then make this a studio and I still plan on doing that but um my son is currently living in that bedroom he needed a place to stay so he's going to be here um until probably April so that's when I'm going to be moving this room upstairs and that will give me a lot more room in this room to um store all of my planner supplies because I'm like out of room. I'm out of room, you guys. So I'm just gonna stick these in there along with the other picture that's in there. And this is just gonna live right alongside that goal sheet. ones do I want? Oh, and this is my picture too. This is the Happy Planner um, water bottle that I just got. So I thought I'd use that as like a water reminder. Okay. And one more here. And then lastly, these two pictures. Okay, so this is going to go right in my planner. So I got, oh, there we go. So this is cleaning my craft room. This is waking up early. This is less alcohol. This is going to bed at a more decent hour by 11 o'clock. This is social media. And then we have the learning every day or like reading a little bit of motivational stuff or podcast every day. 
Over here we have get outside, um, budgeting, connect with friends, drink more water, less like don't snack after seven o'clock and then make sure your kitchen's clean, like doing the dishes and stuff. So I think that's cute. And I think it's just going to keep me like more motivated to see because I'm a visual learner. And so now I can kind of see this along with this and I feel like it's going to make kind of a difference to me. So yeah. So those are my habits this year. And along with my big goals, I think that I am set for 2021. Let's hope it goes well. And I, I hope you guys are set with your goals as well. So drop a comment below and let me know what your goals are for the year. I would like to know. And um, if you like this video, please click the like. And if you're not subscribed yet and you like my content, I'd appreciate it if you would do so. And that's it for me. And apparently Bumble is done as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, stay tuned for Doodle of the Day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.